Hello friends, this week a new chapter of the Baki manga has been released, and as usual, we are going to review and analyze it in detail. In the previous chapter, we saw Baki talking with Mitsuneri about Jack Hanma. The old man questioned Baki about whether he believed he could defeat his older brother. Baki was honest and admitted that he wasn't sure if he could do it. He didn't say it, but it's certain that this doubt arose after seeing Jack's latest fights. The biting cyborg has evolved to such an extent that even Baki felt like he was watching a completely different man. Jack has evolved both mentally and physically. He is now stronger and more agile. But undoubtedly the most important aspect is that he fights in a more strategic manner. He aims to slowly weaken his opponents, just like a wild beast would. We also saw Dopo training in his dojo. He was showing his techniques to Katsumi, but admitted that this wouldn't impress Jack. So, no matter how flashy a technique might be, it wouldn't be effective if it didn't cause real damage. After mentioning Jack, everything seems to indicate that he could be Jack Hanma's next opponent. Personally, I think it would be a good choice to put Dopo next in line. He is one of the strongest fighters and would surely pose a greater challenge for Jack. Speaking of Jack, at the end of the chapter, we saw him in a restaurant accompanied by none other than his father, Yujiro Hanma. These two were about to have a father and son dinner. This week's chapter picks up right where the previous one ended. We find Jack sitting alongside his father, Yujiro Hanma, in a luxurious restaurant, the same one where Yujiro had previously dined with Baki. Here, Yujiro appears refined and calm, displaying an unusual elegance. Across the table is Jack, who is still recovering from temporary blindness, caused by his fight against Kosho. Jack was somewhat uneasy about the prospect of this dinner with his father. The waiter, the same one who previously served Yujiro and Baki, approaches courteously and offers them something to drink to start the evening. Jack immediately responds that yes, he would like a large glass of water. The waiter asks if mineral water would be okay. Jack responds with uncertainty and nervousness that yes, which prompts his father Yujiro to tell him that tap water is not served at this place. These words make Jack even more nervous, who asks what other kind of water they serve here. The waiter very respectfully responds that it could be regular mineral water or perhaps with a touch of carbonation. Immediately, Yujiro interrupts again asking what the point is in offering that to someone who asked for plain tap water. The waiter immediately apologizes to the ogre for his clumsiness, which heightens the nervousness and tension Jack was feeling at that moment. Yujiro asks the waiter to bring them two large glasses of dry sherry. The waiter immediately takes their order and bows. Once their glasses arrive, Yujiro picks up his with his right hand and raises it to the level of his head. Jack, very quickly, tries to replicate this movement and nervously says, cheers. Both delicately clink their glasses and then proceed to drink their liquor. It was something difficult to process. Seeing Yujiro making a toast with Jack Hanma was something we never thought we would see. Yujiro, who had consumed his entire glass in one gulp, looks at Jack and tells him he had never seen anyone drink a glass of sherry like that. Jack begins to savor the liquor, swishing the liquid from side to side. The cyborg remarks that it was a very delicious drink. Yujiro says that it's clear it's his first sherry, but he should take it slow. Jack responds that indeed, this was the first time he had tried this drink, and it had also been the first time he had made a toast with someone. After these words, the room fell silent. Neither of them said a word. At that moment, the door of the place begins to open slowly. The waiter enters bringing two large plates of food, which he places on the table. The waiter tells them that the dish is carpaccio of fresh fish, a fish called sea bream that had been caught recently in the bay. As the waiter explained how the dish was prepared and its ingredients, Jack was astonished by so much information, which he was unaware of. This man only knew that it looked very appetizing and that it resembled sashimi, so he proceeds to take a good bite with the help of one of the forks. Upon tasting it, Jack notes the delicious flavor and texture it had. While he chewed and savored his food, he only thought about how delicious it was. Jack wonders if this was really fish. As he continued eating, he couldn't believe how it could melt that way in his mouth. But Yujiro, with great delicacy, continued eating his dish without saying a word. Suddenly, Yujiro breaks the silence by mentioning that Jack's skill with the cutlery was undoubtedly better than Baki's. These words make Jack very tense and nervous who says that this is because he is from Canada and Baki was from Japan. 
However, those words from Yujiro resonated in Jack's head. His father, the great Yujiro Hanma, had said that Jack was better than Baki, even if it was in something as simple as using cutlery. At that moment, the waiter arrives again, this time with a bottle of white wine. Again, Jack takes a large glass full of this liquor in one gulp, while we see Yujiro just watching him attentively. Yujiro, with a sarcastic tone, mentions that Jack's way of drinking was worse than Baki's. Jack places his large glass on the table while apologizing to his father. After that, he tries a spoonful of turtle soup, noticing a great flavor that impacts his brain. Jack, with just one sip, notices the vast array of flavors and ingredients in this dish. All of them came like an explosion in his mouth. Yujiro asks Jack if he found his soup delicious. Jack, extremely tense and nervous, tells his father that he couldn't describe it in simple words but definitely liked it. After that, they serve him the main course, which was lobster cooked in champagne with American sauce. Jack tasted a good piece of that meat, while the impact of its flavor was reflected on his face. He couldn't resist, it was extremely delicious, so he asks his father if it was possible to eat it with his hands. Yujiro tells him that this was a private room, so he could do it, but it is something he should not do in public. Jack immediately proceeds to take his lobster and begins to devour it directly with his powerful teeth, which shattered the hard shell. The waiter was totally surprised by such an action and was almost going to say something, but Yujiro, placing his index finger on his lips, asks him to keep quiet. This chapter ends showing us this great building accompanied by a phrase that says, Will this night end peacefully? Well, it really wasn't what I expected for this chapter, but I really liked the interaction between Yujiro and Jack. I was expecting a deeper and more serious conversation between them. I don't know. I expected Jack to ask his father uncomfortable questions and to question him about what he did to his mother. These questions would surely have angered Yujiro, just as it happened when Baki questioned him about what he did to Emmy. This dinner was very special for Jack, as he momentarily forgot all the resentment and hatred he felt for Yujiro and truly enjoyed the meal. It's like a little kid having dinner for the first time with his father. So may not like Jack acting this way, but in my opinion, it only benefits his character, giving him more development and depth since now Jack is not presented just as a man with daddy issues. Jack mentioned that this was the first time he had tried a glass of sherry and the first time he had made a toast. This carries a lot of weight since it was with his father that he experienced this for the first time. He is sure to remember it for the rest of his life. Yujiro also told him that he was better than Baki at using cutlery. This simple praise echoed in Jack's head and excited him like the time his father praised him for having undergone such tough processes to become stronger. Jack remarked that the reason he and Baki are so different in terms of how they eat and behave is because Baki is from Japan and he, on the other hand, was born and raised in Canada, where customs and traditions are very different. So, since he arrived in Japan, he and his struggle to adapt. And well, at the end of the chapter, there was a phrase that left us with a question hanging. Will this father and son dinner end in peace this time? We'll find out in the next chapter, which looks like it will be out next week, of course, barring any delays as usual. It will be interesting to see if the night continues as calm as it has been, or if Jack will finally do something to Yujiro. Another thing I would like to know is whether it was Yujiro who invited Jack to dinner. It's very strange for him to invite someone to dinner, but considering it's his son, it wouldn't be so outlandish. Anyway, leave your thoughts and opinions about this chapter in the comment box. And well friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.